Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to get your first PHP file up and running. So we're gonna set everything up that we need to set up. We'll create a PHP file, and then we'll actually print something out onto the screen so we can make sure everything is working correctly. So let's get started. The first thing that we have to do when we're working with PHP is we actually have to start something called a PHP server. Now basically when we want to use PHP, we have to run PHP on a web server. So PHP is what's called a server side language. Basically means it's a programming language that's going to run on a web server and we can use PHP on that web server in order to interact with our websites. So your website is basically just a collection of files that gets given to the user and we can write PHP on the web server, which is going to handle like giving out files to users or getting input from users and, and doing stuff like that. So basically all you need to know is that PHP is going to run on a web server. And you don't really need to understand any more than that just as a beginner to PHP. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can set up our very own web server. And actually a web server comes with PHP, so it's really easy. So what I wanna do is I wanna open up my terminal or my command prompt. Now if you're on Mac, it's gonna be called the terminal. If you're on Windows, it's gonna be called the command prompt. Um, and then I'm just gonna come down here and uh, just search for the command prompt. I'm gonna search CMD because I'm on Windows. If you're on Mac, just search for terminal and I'm gonna open this up. And the command prompt and the terminal are basically just two programs which will allow us to interact with the computer using text commands. That's essentially all you need to know. And over here, we're actually gonna start a web server. So you can just type in PHP and I'm gonna type hyphen a capital S and then I'm just gonna type localhost colon 4000. And then I'm gonna click enter. Essentially what we're doing here is we're creating a web server. So we're using PHP and PHP is gonna create like a little web server for us. And as a beginner to PHP, this is essentially all you need. So we can use this server that PHP is gonna create for us in order to run our PHP files. Um, you can actually use a different web server if you want. Setting up a like another web server on your computer is gonna take a, a while and you're gonna have to do a bunch of configuration, you're gonna have to download a bunch of things. So as a beginner, the easiest way to get started is to just use this PHP hyphen capital S localhost 4000 command. And you'll see over here, it basically just says PHP 7.1.11 development server started. So this is like a little web server that we can use and you'll see over here it says listening on HTTP localhost 4000. So localhost is, it's essentially just like the web address of your local computer. And this basically just means that we have a web server running on our local machine and it's running on port 4000. And then down here you'll see it says document root is C backslash users backslash Mike D. Now, if you're on OSX, this might be different. It's probably still gonna be like users and then your username. So that's basically where PHP is gonna start looking for uh, files that we're gonna run. So now that we have our server set up, you wanna just leave this running. So don't exit out of this window. I'm just gonna minimize it, but make sure that you don't exit out of it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here in my file explorer and I'm gonna to go to that document root. So if you remember, it was users um, and then my username. So I'm just gonna go down here and we'll go to users and then Mike D. So this is where that document root was. In other words, this is where PHP is gonna start looking for files that we wanna run. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna create a new folder here. So I'm just gonna click new folder and I'm just gonna call this folder um, www. So www is just gonna stand for like our website. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just gonna name mine www. And now what I wanna do once I have this www folder created is I wanna create a PHP file. And to do that, I'm actually gonna open up my text editor. So over here, I'm gonna open up Atom, which is the text editor that we installed in the last tutorial. And if you're not using Atom, then you can just use whatever um, text editor that you want. It doesn't really matter. And in here, I'm basically going to import this folder. So I'm just gonna come up and say file, and I'm gonna say add project folder. And now we're just gonna go to users, Mike D, and then we're gonna add this www folder. And this is basically just gonna let me um, see it while we're developing. So I'm gonna click select folder, 
So now we have www over here in our little navigation window. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click new file and we wanna create a PHP file. So I'm just gonna create a PHP file and I'm just gonna call it site.php. And you can name this whatever you want, it doesn't matter what you name it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name this site and you need to have this .php extension. So I'm gonna just gonna click enter and this file is gonna go ahead and get created for us. So once we have this file open, now we can start writing some code. Now here's the thing about PHP is PHP is very tightly coupled with a language called HTML. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's basically a language that we can use to um, build websites. So if you've ever built a website before, then you've used HTML. Now, in order to program in PHP, in order to really get everything you can out of PHP, you're gonna wanna have a good understanding of HTML. By no means do you have to be an expert at HTML, but you should at least understand like what HTML is and how it works and sort of what's going on. I'm just gonna kinda assume that you guys have a basic knowledge of HTML. And if you don't know anything about HTML, we actually have an entire course on it in here on Draft Academy, so you can check that out. But for this course, I'm just gonna assume that you already understand the basics of HTML. So I'm not gonna be going over HTML basics. I'm just gonna assume that you know it. So this PHP file over here, site.php, this is actually very similar to an HTML file. So essentially we can write HTML inside of this file and it's gonna work just like it would work with a normal HTML file. For all intents and purposes, a PHP file and an HTML file are the same. It's just that in a PHP file, we can write PHP code, but everything else is pretty much the same, so it'll work the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come over here and just set up a basic HTML skeleton. So here we just have this very basic skeleton for an HTML page, and inside of this HTML page, we're actually gonna write our PHP code. So whenever we wanna write PHP code inside of an HTML file, we can actually just come down here and I'm just gonna come down here into the body and we can create special PHP tags. So everything in HTML is a tag, right? So anytime that you're like laying out something or you're doing something, generally you're doing it inside of a tag and we can create a PHP tag and inside of that PHP tag, we can write our PHP code. So a PHP tag is very simple. I'm just gonna make a less than sign. I'm gonna make a question mark and I'm gonna type out PHP and then I'm just gonna make a couple new lines and you'll see down here we need a question mark and a greater than sign to end it off. So anything that I put in, inside of these tags is gonna be considered PHP code, all right? And I'm just gonna show you guys one simple PHP instruction that we can write. And then in the next tutorial, we're gonna look at some more instructions, but I just wanna show you guys like how we can basically set this up and make sure that everything's working. I'm just gonna type out echo and I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses and I'm gonna type a semicolon after this. And in here, I'm gonna make an open and close quotation marks and I'm just gonna type out hello world. So I'm saying echo, hello world, and this is actually a PHP instruction. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna print something out onto the screen. So what we can do now is we can save this file and remember over here, I still have my PHP server running and it's saying document root is users Mike D and it has this address up here, localhost 4000. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna put this into our web browser. So I'm gonna open up my web browser. In my case, I just have Google Chrome and over here in the address bar, I'm gonna put in localhost 4000. Now, when we click enter, you'll notice that it says not found. And that's because there's no PHP files here at the root directory. But if you remember, we stored our PHP file in that www folder. So I can just make a forward slash www, and then I can say forward slash, and I'm gonna type in the name of the PHP file. So it was site.php. And so now we're navigating to the folder where we're storing all of our files, and then I'm typing in the file name, and now when I click enter, it should bring us over here to this page. And you'll see when I go to site.php, it's printing out onto the screen, hello world. So basically we have successfully run our first PHP program. We have everything set up and we're ready to start working some more. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.